Hi guys and dolls, welcome back. It's me, Cora, and today I'm going to be bringing you another skincare Sunday video. So yay, skincare Sunday! I am really excited about today's video. This is a bit of a haul, so it's a little bit different from my other skincare videos where I'm reviewing something that I've tried a little bit. This is something that I've literally only had in my hands for less than 24 hours. But I bought these things based on your suggestion, so I kind of almost want to make this a bit of a journey that we can maybe go on together if you're interested in joining in with this. In my last skincare Sunday video, I was talking about my pared down routine, just a couple of steps that I do when I have no time to do the full routine. In that video, I was asking what you guys wanted to see on Skincare Sunday. Like, what are you excited for? What what do you want to see reviewed? What do you want to talk about? Blah, blah, blah. And a lot of you said that you wanted me to check out this brand called The Ordinary. So I went ahead and checked it out and I was absolutely floored by the prices. And I say this is inexpensive. I mean, like, this is less expensive than most of the stuff that's at the drugstore. I mean, this stuff is dirt cheap. I don't know how they do it. Aside from the obvious, which is that they don't have super fancy packaging. They don't have these overinflated formulas with lots of extra stuff. Um, that's not to say that the formulas aren't great. From what I can tell from reading the ingredients and kind of briefly checking these out, again, I've only had them for maybe 16 hours. Um, and, and so I have no review for you, really. I'm going to kind of just give you some first impressions, but that's all I can really give you at this point. Um, but just based on reading the ingredients list and everything like that, I really like what I'm seeing. There's not a lot of fillers. There's no fragrance and things like that. So they've kind of taken out some of that stuff that creates these super expensive, really elegant uh, skincare lines, which I'm not here to like bash those. I still really enjoy them completely. And I think that they still have a place in your routine. But if what you just need is lactic acid or if what you just need is retinol, and you don't feel like buying some souped up formula, then this is a really great brand for you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I see that you lick a spot. I see that you lick the spot in a wine. So let's just kind of really briefly go through what this brand is. It's a offshoot of the brand DCM, uh, which is a like a, an umbrella company or, or like a parent company of a lot of other skincare lines, which I admit I don't know a whole lot about at this point. I'm learning. Um, this is something that like I literally am brand new to and that's why I want to kind of invite you guys to come this journey with me This is a skincare line that does have a bit of a concept behind it and the the concept is uh, To give you those really great ingredients these effective ingredients things like retinol and lactic acid and niacinamide and vitamin C and even caffeine and give them to you in a formula that is very basic and simple and good for the skin, but maybe doesn't have a lot of superfluous stuff in it. The packaging is incredibly basic, not in, in you know, it's not ugly or anything. It still actually has a nice texture to the box, uh, but the, the bottles are just really rather simplistic. There's nothing, because whenever a company creates stuff, they have to pay graphic artists and do all this other stuff, which I'm sure they paid a graphic artist to create this, but this is highly simplistic versus some other skincare lines. Um, so that's kind of the premise of it, is to give you this pared down skincare that is effective and works without all the bullshit. Um, and I, I enjoy the bullshit, so I'm not totally dissing the bullshit, but it would be nice to be able to find these things without all the bells and whistles that are unnecessary. Uh, but what I do love is that even with something like this, this is their lactic acid, it's still has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's not like a one trick pony type of product either. There are other, in other ingredients in here that make it worthwhile for your skin. I'm just, it's hard to explain. Um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this, possibly because the dog is like chewing on something he's not supposed to be chewing on. <sighs> Never leave your boxes laying around because your dog will chew on them. So I was really drawn to this because a lot of times when I'm trying to find something, I, I look for skincare for a specific purpose. Like I look for it, for instance, for lactic acid or for, as a, you know, to use as a retinal product. So that's the premise of it. But in addition to that, they're giving you all of these things. Uh, well, they're not giving them to you. You do have to buy them, but the prices are just insanely cheap. So I'm going to go through the products that I picked up and kind of let you know sort of like an overview of what I think so far. This is totally first impressions. I've literally only used some of these on my hand. I haven't even used them all on my face yet. Uh, so this is the first one that I picked up. This is the thing that sort of drew me in. This is The Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% plus 2% uh, hyaluronic acid. This is a mild lactic acid superficial peeling formulation. So that's another thing that I really like about this brand is they give you a lot of information about the product. Like that alone kind of tells you, okay, this is like a lighter peel versus maybe like the 10%, which they also sell a 10%. A 10% um, uh, serum as well. Uh, it has directions used once per day, ideally in the PMs. This is not one that you'd want to use during the day. 
uh, can be diluted with other treatments to reduce the strength until the skin develops a tolerance. Which is so important. Like, so many other skincare lines don't really state that. That when you first start using lactic acid or retinol or vitamin C or any of these very active ingredients, you have to sort of, like, go in slowly. And I really appreciate that they just come out and say it. Um, and that's something I notice a lot on their website as well. They'll give you information about what, what's in it. Like, there's Tasmanian pepperberry in this product. Um, they talk about the pH of the product. They talk about... Um, they even have a chart on their website that shows you like things that you shouldn't mix together. I really appreciate that. I feel like they're sort of taking some of the mystery out of skincare and for that alone I am in love with this brand. Uh, so this lactic acid serum has a color like this. It's sort of like a peachy color. Fragrance wise it kind of reminds me of like when you uh, like an old printer, like when like the sheet would come off the press and it has like a certain smell to it from the toner and stuff, which I love that smell. So to me, this smells really, really good. I've heard some people say they don't really care for the scent. Uh, I haven't looked up a ton of reviews about these just because I want to kind of have, have my own experience with them. But I have looked up a couple of reviews just to kind of get an idea of what the brand is all about. Um, and so someone else I think said that they didn't like the scent and I was like, oh, well, actually I don't really like it. So in terms of the delivery of the product, it has one of these pipettes that you fill up and then you would dispense it obviously into your hand or whatever. Uh, this little jar is one ounce of product or 30 milliliters, depending on what measurement you would like to use. And this was $6 and 50 cents. If that's effective, that is like the best deal for lactic acid. I think there is on the market. I mean, it's just like, I make this face because I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain to you how good a deal that is. So now we're going to move on to the Advanced Retinol 2%. The box looks like this, all the boxes look basically the same. Front of the bottle says, a stable emulsion of next generation forms of retinoid. So this one is a little bit different and from what I've looked up, you know, online and everything, this retinol treatment is basically 1% retinol and 1% retinol ester. And retinol ester is a little bit different. It's a similar, that's the ingredient that they use in the Luna oil that I love. So I have very high hopes for this because I love the Luna oil and Luna oil has a lot of other things in it that are really great for the skin. But I would like to find something that's less expensive that I can, you know, re rely on um, that it's like insanely cheaper. This is $9.80. Like the Luna oil I think is 105 bucks. So this is insanely cheaper if it does work. This also has a pipette, which is the little dropper thing basically, or you can call it a, dro a dropper if you like. You don't have to call it a pipette. A pipette. It makes it sound fancy. It comes in a brown bottle because this is going to help uh, block light and things like that. And uh, this is sort of like a milky emulsion, which is really nice. I used this last night and I didn't have any like insane irritation or anything from it. Um, I don't really have much else to say beyond that. It does, my little ring light is like flickering. Um, it does have some, uh, somewhat of a smell. Now, none of these are fragrant, so it's just like the smell of the ingredients. It kind of smells a little bit like clay or some like clinically, clinical kind of smelling. I actually quite like the way that smells as well. So moving on to the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension 23% plus HA Spheres, which is hyaluronic acid. This is a water-free stable suspension. So what I find interesting about this formula is that it is also silicone-free, which is something that I believe on their website they discussed uh, that silicones can actually stop the vitamin C from being absorbed into the skin, which I find interesting because I do believe there are silicones in the Elginist product that I use. Um, and the fact that it's water-free, I'm like, okay, so then what is the thing that it's suspended in on the inside? Because it's definitely, oh, see, it's very liquidy. Uh, it's definitely like a lotion type thing. So if it's water-free and silicone-free, like what, what is it suspended in? I don't, I don't know. The number one ingredient on this, by the way, is as ascorbic acid, which is, damn, you know, this keeps flickering. We're just going to turn it off. It might be kind of dark. Oh no, it's actually these. So the first ingredient on the list here is ascorbic acid, which I think is really interesting. That's the number one ingredient that is the vitamin C. Uh, one thing about this though, this is really an interesting product. It feels gritty, almost like there's little pieces of sand in it. And 
I gotta tell you guys, I don't know how I feel about that. Directions on this say apply a small amount to face AM and PM. So I'm not really sure about that because it has that gritty texture and I don't know how I would feel about putting that on my face during the day. It just seems like it would interrupt makeup, it would give a weird texture to the face. I'm just not really sure about it. So ah, I'm gonna try it out a little bit longer. Uh, it's definitely very active. Even just putting it on my hand and putting it on my face last night, I definitely felt that tingling sensation that happens with really good vitamin C. Uh, that doesn't happen with my Algenes product because it's a different type of vitamin C that is not the ascorbic acid. So I'm interested to play around with it, but in terms of textural, I cannot see myself wanting to use this during the day due to the texture. It just really does not agree with me that, that I mean, you can actually, do you hear that? It has just like this grit to it that I'm just like, mm, I don't know about that one. Pleasant smell, it's not like, it actually really doesn't have much of a smell at all. So that's one thing that is really nice because a lot of uh, vitamin C products have this very strong smell that really grosses me out and I just can't hang with it. Oh my gosh, my lights keep flickering. I'm sorry guys, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Uh, and then the last thing that I picked up is also in a brown bottle. This is a caffeine solution of 5% plus EGCG. And I don't actually know what ECG CG is. Couldn't tell you. Um, the second ingredient in this is caffeine. So you can see it's very high up on the ingredients list. I admit that I'm still pretty ignorant about the skincare line, but when I heard about the actives in it and I heard about the prices, I was just like, oh my God, I gotta try this out. So I'm going to get a little bit of this on the back of my hand and I'm actually gonna put this one on right now. The caffeine treatment is something that you're meant to put into the contours of the eye and it's supposed to help with puffiness. So we'll see. I don't, I don't imagine that we will see any kind of like immediate thing but it's very smoothing it feels like a nice like thick water serum that would be nice to put on the face and one of my favorite um under eye creams that i've ever used is one from mac called fast response eye cream which also had vitamin c oh you actually can feel a bit of tightening that's nice um it also had caffeine in it the mac product that i used to use although a much smaller concentration and that was full of a lot of silicones, which were really great for smoothing everything out. And I do forgive me, I did not give you the price of the vitamin C serum. This is $5.80. I know, it's just like, how is this possible? And then this uh, caffeine solution is $6.70. And you know, I really do actually feel a bit of tightening. That is quite cool. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. I don't know if it's like, oh look, eye bag's gone. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But um, it does give a little bit of a tightening effect and actually makes me feel a little bit more awake. I don't know if like the caffeine's absorbing into my skin or if I'm just imagining things or if it's just the coffee that I'm drinking. Excited to check out this brand and learn more from it. I think I might go back and pick up a couple of other products that seem to be kind of mainstays from the brand. Like the, they have a product called The Buffet, which is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's in the $14 range. Um, it is $14.80. This one is like a peptide serum and peptides are actually something that is missing from my overall skincare routine. So this seems like the perfect kind of thing to try out and really absorb into my skincare routine. I don't know that I'm going to use these items exclusively for an extended period of time, but I will sort of slip them into my routine in the slots where they would normally go. Like I might go back and forth between using the retinol and my regular Luna and things like that. Um, I have a lot of lactic acid treatment products to get through, so I'm not sure if I will use this exclusively, but I will be testing them out and I want to try them for a month or so, give a really good idea of how I feel about them, maybe even longer than that, because with skincare, it takes a while for something to really uh, show. Uh, there are things that show instantaneous benefits, but most of those are cosmetic. A lot of skincare items that are loaded with things like silicones or even things like this caffeine, where it has like a, a visible tightening or smoothing to the skin, but a lot of skincare things really do take over time to affect any kind of change in the skin. It just takes time because the old cells need to be sloughed off and then the new ones will then have like all that good skincare stuff absorbed into them as they are developing. So that is my haul of the Ordinary Skincare line. I am going to be picking up a couple other items as I mentioned. Each one of these is 30 milliliters or one ounce depending on what unit of measurement you'd like to use. And I'm just generally excited about it but I really cannot endorse it personally because I haven't had enough use with it. Uh, so far the products that I have used are the retinol and the vitamin C which I used last night. Um, 
it's way too soon to tell any kind of effects from that. And then you guys just saw me use the caffeine just now. Um, it is tightening and it does have um, a slightly, almost like a squeaky clean yet tacky feel to it, which is kind of interesting. It'll be kind of interesting to know how my concealer goes over this in just a moment. The other thing that I want to mention is that uh, because this is so inexpensive, this might be something you might want to check out. I have no affiliate codes or anything like that. I'm not endorsing this. I'm just saying that this is so inexpensive that if you're interested in going on a skincare journey with me, we could do this. Um, and that's it. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.